hi welcome to the mathematics of my channel today we are going to solve another interesting elliptic integral okay first we know the complete elliptic integral of first kind this is the general uh, integral 0 to pi over 2 d theta over the square root of 1 minus k square sine square of theta is equal to f of k pi over 2 okay in previous videos we discussed about this okay now for this integral um, now I'm going to try um, to make uh, this type of integral therefore I'm going to take uh, substitution uh, x is equal to tan of theta now differentiate so dx is equal to secant square of theta d theta and lower limit when x approaches to 0 theta also approaches to 0 upper limit when x approaches to 1 we know theta approaches to pi over 4 so now we can plug in here now limit 0 to 5 over 4 so 0 to 5 over 4 now dx is equal to secant square of theta d theta so secant square of theta d theta over the square root of now 1 plus x square x we know tan square of theta so tan square of theta times 1 plus 2 times tan square of theta okay then now we can simplify here 0 to pi over 4 uh, here secant square of theta d theta over now here 1 plus tan square of theta we know secant square of theta square root of secant square of theta 0 to 5 over 4 so secant of theta now here in the square root we have 1 plus 2 times tan square of theta well now we know this secant theta get cancelled and now we can write integral form 0 to pi over 4 now secant theta we can write uh, 1 over cosine of theta so here cosine of theta and here square root of 1 plus 2 times tan square of theta we know sine square of theta over cosine square of theta okay now we can simplify now if we take square root here now cosine of theta get cancelled and we will have 0 to 5 over 4 d theta over now cosine of 1 times cosine square of theta so cosine square of theta plus 2 times sine square of theta okay now next step we can write this is equal to sorry 0 to pi over 4 now d theta over here cosine square of theta now instead of sine square of theta we can use uh, 1 minus cosine square of theta so 2 times 1 minus cosine square of theta and we can simplify 0 to pi over 4 d theta over the square root of here 2 so 2 here minus 2 times cosine square of theta plus cosine square of theta so minus cosine square of theta now we can take uh, square root of 2 as a common factor so we can write 1 over square root of 2 0 to pi over 4 d theta over the square root of uh, here 1 
minus 1 over 2 cosine square of theta. Well, now we can use uh, a substitution again. So if we take um, 5 over 2, 5 over 2 minus theta is equal to alpha. Now differentiate. So minus d theta is equal to d alpha and limit lower limit when theta approaches to 0 alpha approaches to pi over 2 upper limit when theta approaches to pi over 4 alpha approaches to uh, for us also phi over 4 okay then we can plug in here so we can write 1 over square root of 2 here now limit uh, phi over 2 to phi over 4 so phi over 2 to phi over 4 now d theta is equal to minus d alpha over square root of now here 1 minus 1 half uh, here cosine square of theta so theta is equal to pi over 2 minus alpha so cosine square of pi over 2 minus alpha we know sine square of alpha so sine square of alpha now we can change the limit uh, when we change the limit this minus get cancelled so we can write here this is equal to 1 over square root of 2 integral from phi over 4 to phi over 2 here d alpha now we change the limit d alpha over square root of 1 minus this one half we can write 1 over square root of 2 square sine square of alpha well nice now uh, now we have this type of integral so we can write the answer 1 over square root of 2 here 5 over 4 to 5 over 2 so f of now upper limit 5 over 2 so 1 over square root of 2 comma pi over 2 minus f of now lower limit uh, here pi over 4 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching